Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to give you guys a complete breakdown how to take every single thing apart on this Poland Counter Vibe 3400. It was a common saw. A lot of people still have this saw. I'm going to show you guys how to take every single thing out, and I'm going to try to jam as much links to every single replacement part in the description below. So, if you guys only here to see how to take off the muffler, or see how just to take out the recoil, and then all that other stuff, there will be timestamps in the description down below. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start by taking off the chain of this chainsaw, and also subscribe hit that bell because um in one of the future videos we're going to completely put this all back together with new parts so starting with the chain and the side cover we're going to have a 14 millimeter I'm thinking about doing this let me know in the comments guys if you guys want to see full breakdowns of any other form of equipment whether it be weed eaters generators i mean i'm just going to dismantle every single thing there is to this and then pretty much try to make it as new as possible side plate now it should just come right off look at that look how nasty that is we will clean that up in the next video and look at this look at this see jesus christ Okay, now we're going to go on to the muffler. Muffler is going to be 10 millimeter. one more little piece of the side plate here I know um, it's kind of pointless you know because this saw isn't worth a whole lot but I know a lot of people have this saw and everybody's problems different the main problem with this I believe the head and the cylinder and the piston is scored beyond all belief but I want to show people how to take apart every little piece of this saw that you can. Because you can do it at home with very little tools. I'm using very little tools today. I don't have, I'm not using nothing painless. Okay. The muffler is like two piece looks like. And there's going to be another 10 millimeter inside here right in there so it's a two-piece set inside of it is the screen that's the spark arrester and it looks pretty good actually so but it's almost like a basket so and most of the time you don't see mufflers like this oh no there's one more on the top there so there, there's two right here, one in there, and one up here. There we go. So far, the only tool we use is a 10 millimeter. 
I'm gonna look inside here. See if you guys can't get a good look too. Probably not. And to be honest, that piston looks great. But the piston rings don't look like they're expanding as much as they should. Okay, next part. There's a little screw on top here. We're gonna take apart this plastic. And here's the air filter. We're gonna get a new one of those. We're gonna come over here. Give me a quick second, I'm gonna clean up the garbage here. Okay, next part, we're removing the recoil. We're using a flathead screwdriver here. And it looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, four. And you know, most saws nowadays, we're gonna have the T27, T25. <clears throat> but for some reason, this older saw has a lot of um, flatheads and Phillips. And for the Phillips, I'll just use the impact with the flared Phillips tool from Harbor Freight. <clears throat> Using this um, one with the wrench thing. I'm not going to use the wrench thing. It just has a wider head. There we go. So far, if you guys are liking and enjoying this full breakdown, go down below and, oh, well, that's a long one. Go down below and smash that like button for me. Or if you don't like it, smash that dislike. Oh, unless YouTube already implemented that no dislike thing, it don't matter. Engagement is engagement, another long one. So, so far, short, long, long. Yeah, this other screwdriver is working a lot better. My other one's made mostly for brass carburetors. So, so each screw is a different size. That's fine. Let's look at the side here. And it looks pretty dirty pretty nasty that's fine okay now from here we're gonna take off the handle we're gonna flip the saw on its side no no we're gonna turn it around we're gonna take our pick here we're gonna clean out the gunk in here and see what we need to use oh look see they're trying to throw us for a loop I want us to use a I believe that might be a T25. No? T27? T27 up in there. I'll have a link again to all the parts I see and all the tools I use in the description down below. So T27 on this side. And we are gonna clean this whole saw up too. So that's not a problem. Okay, now right here, I bet that's a 13 down here. some wood jesus christ 11 millimeter now they're throwing me through a ringer and making me use a whole bunch of different other tools
long bolt. Handle should come off now. Let's see what I'm going to do next. Okay, next thing we're removing top plastic. There's a flat head here, a flat head in one of these holes here. Matter of fact, let me show you. So we got a flat head here, flat head here, flat head here. That should pull off the top cover. And I'm just gonna not use that screwdriver anymore. Not all screwdrivers are made the same, ladies and gentlemen. Even though they are relatively look the same and they're relatively both the cheaper brand, not all are made the same. Yeah, I have a bunch of two-stroke equipment too, and I think that's where the full breakdown really works on those. So, I mean, I got Echoes, I got Home Lights, I got steels so if you guys want to see something or anything let me know because i'm actually enjoying doing this because i want to clean it up too i want to make it look real pretty like this thing just came from the shop back in 2000 whatever top cover out okay what are we doing next here i guess we'll remove the coil So there's a metal clip there and a plastic clip here that just hold the wire <clears throat> looks like it's going to be an eight millimeter or a flathead and every time those come into play i always just like to use the eight millimeter i always try to use the flathead but i always feel like i'm going to strip it Come on, baby. There we go. Where's the other one? The other one's right down here. And I know for a fact that the spark was working on this. It just had low compression. So I thought that piston was going to be scored to all high hell. Make sure these are the same size. They are correct. So we're good there. So now we got one little wire here, which should just come disconnected. Oh, and it broke off. We can fix that when it comes time to fix that. We still need to disconnect that though. Ladies and gentlemen, homemade piston stop. Just shoving some rope in there. Some recoil rope. Just putting a healthy amount. <clears throat> a healthy amount in there. Now seeing if it stops it. And it does. A good thing to use would be a really good impact if you had one. I 
and a lot of these things are on there because they painted over everything in the factory like you could even see it in this coil here remove that nut pull out our piston stop there Now I'm trying to see if I'm going to need, um, I don't know if my tool that I want to use to take off the head is going to fit in there. <clears throat> so we're going to switch over here. You know what, we might have to put the piston stop in there again, just to take off this clutch. Because we need to hit it. Actually this one has a nut, so we don't actually need to hit it. Okay, next part, we're going to remove the carburetor because in the end, I'm going to remove the head too. So the carburetor, surprisingly, uses a flat head for the two screws. You see why a lot of mechanics hate working on these? It's just these older pullings. First of all, they're not worth that much. And they just take a lot to do. But everything can be fixed. And it all depends how much it means to you. If you want it fixed, we'll fix it. That's the thing, you know? We don't know what this saw means to you and some people will tell you hey i don't think it's worth repairing and most people sometimes are a little rude i mean they can might tell you hey it's gonna be this much do you really want the saw repaired and they could say yeah because we don't know if, whose saw it was if it was your dad's or your granddad's you know or if it's sentimental we can't say oh that's just a piece of shit saw it's gonna hurt your feelings. Carburetor's off. Look, they even spray painted over the damn carburetor. Jesus Christ, you could tell everything was original. Fuel lines were completely busted. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, this has this was engineering at its finest. Let me tell you. Well, it's been a while since I had to use a 19 millimeter here. We got the piston stop in there. We're gonna examine the arrow. Goes off this way. So we're gonna make sure we're turning it so it's count it reversed right here. This is for the clutch. Clutch spring looks good. So there was the clutch. Now let's see about getting this head off here. Okay, I got these set of um, cobalt Allen keys. I'm using a 13 16 the long one. It reaches down there fine. Now from there, you can twist them off and there's four head bolts.
And now that we got those all off, you just give it a good Pull out the piston stop that we had. Now we can take a good look at this piston actually, real quick while we're here. Nothing seems really scored or anything. What do you guys think? Housing looks great. Piston rings actually are doing pretty good. Maybe it just needs a good cleaning. Hmm. Okay guys, now we're almost done with um, everything we're gonna take apart. We're not gonna crack it in half because I think that's unnecessary. And plus you'd have to replace get We could clean it and do everything like this, but we're gonna remove the flywheel. We're also gonna clean this magnet up where they have spray paint on there in the next video. Now from here, because we got that, as you can see now, I don't, why the hell did they put fuel line over the wire? I don't know. But this wire is for the plug. So now we can actually remove the gas tank. Which I believe is not held in there by anything. <clears throat> and it should slide out. Which it's coming. Jesus Christ, there it is. And then obviously this is the single fuel line and this is just a breather line and you could tell that this thing is just crumbling. Look at this, this is how you know your fuel line are bad. Fuel line should not do that. But we got the gas tank out. Now, looking at the saw, if you want, you can edit this wire here, but I think this wire is good. It looks like it has two little tabs here. That would help you pull it out. You know what, we can, we can just pull it out. <sighs> Flathead. I'll tell you one thing earlier, this damn um, flywheel was on there pretty good. Took me about 10 minutes to get it off. One of the reasons I think most people should have a flywheel puller, but I was trying to do it without using fancy pants tools. And as you can hear, the oiler works fine, so we don't need to. So we really don't need to mess with that. We should just be able to pull this wire out. I don't know why it's wrapped in fuel line. Maybe it's something pulling does, I don't know. Okay, next part, we're removing this little holder here. Two flatheads. That piece should just come off. So there it is everybody. There's the tools we used and here's every part of this pulling 3400 counter vibe. We got the main body, which that's as far as we're going with it. <clears throat> air filter cover, air filter, coil, fuel tank, flywheel, 
recoil, holder, carburetor, clutch, head, muffler, handle, bar and chain, spark arrester, chain side plate, head cover plate. These also go on the chain and then all the nuts and bolts. So, if you guys want to see me clean this up and um, put it all back together, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell too, because it's coming, guys. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this um, complete breakdown on this pull-in 3400 counter vibe saw. I have a lot more saws I'm going to do with this. I think I'm actually, one of my next ones I'm going to do is a Steel Wood Boss 028 AV. So if you guys want to see more complete breakdowns of any kind of equipment, I'm talking four stroke or two stroke, weed eaters, chainsaws. Um, I've actually had a lot of fun doing it. And um, one of my next videos, I'm actually going to replace this whole thing, clean it up and make this saw run again. And I know a lot of YouTubers out there, they don't, they just, if the carburetor is bad, they just show you the carburetor. But I want to show how to do everything because it might not be the carburetor for you. And you might not find the video that you need to just take off the head of the chainsaw. So I make a video now that shows you taking apart everything. So if you have one little thing that you need to take apart and replace, this is where it's at. I'm going to have links in the description. Of course, some of them will be affiliate. Some of them won't be um, down in the description of every part I can find for this saw on the Internet. It's hard to find parts for this old saw, but I'm going to try my best to get you all you need. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more stuff over here, I got a whole playlist of chainsaw repairs. And right under that's what YouTube thinks you should watch next. And with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. See ya.